Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail Expedition with me, Bring It Dawn. So off camera I did quite a bit of crafting. Uh, I moved all of my crafting materials to my core city residence for that boost to my stats. To my crafting stats. I made, finally made a shield emitter, a custom one. I don't remember all the values of the old shield emitter, um, but I think that very low was at 9 and that high was at 75. And that all these numbers are higher than the previous uh, shield emitter. So it's better across the board. I also crafted a new riot set of riot gear. Um, my mechanical resistance went up by 3%, I believe. Uh, the DT went down by 2 or 3. Uh, my heat resistance went up from, I think, 4%. Uh, DT also went up. Uh, my The amount that I can block went up, I think it was in at 51 or 53. It was the low 50s, and now it's at 70. Also, the amount of health that I gained from the Sturdy Vest component went up by about 30. It was at like 51, and now it's at 83. Still at 51% armor penalty, because I need at least 50% for my Juggernaut feat. I also crafted a couple of spears, uh, new Kevlar tabby boots. Everything's better across the board, except for action point cost melee attacks reduced by one that cannot be increased. And the uh, mechanical resistance at two is... Or I guess the DT at two. That hasn't changed. That's the same. But yeah, so I made a tungsten uh, steel spear, a shock tungsten steel spear. Uh, its damage is 38 to 82, much higher than the previous spear that I had. And then I also made a Tychrum spear. So it has a reduced action point cost for attacking. Uh, its damage is 42 to 78. So I'll use this for impale, and then I'll use this for regular attacks since it has a higher uh, minimum damage value. Also, I do have some super steel being made at Foundry, and this will probably get replaced by a super steel spear. I'm going to save scum for the super steel uh, quality because it's, there's a lot of variability. And since I spent 3,000 Sharon's on it, I would rather get something good for it than uh, risk getting like, I don't, know, I don't want to get like 60 quality super steel for 3,000 Sharon's. But yeah, that is, uh, that's all I did. Some crafting. Uh, we're going to talk to Giles. And this is going to be the last upgrade I get for my residence. At least that's, that's the last one I plan on getting. I'd like to have a trophy head mounted on my living room wall. Can you help me with that? Sure. We're Core City Housing Corporation. We can do anything. Do you have that head on with you? I have it right here. Show him the head of the beast. Giles watches in amazement as you pull out the top... Sorry, pull out the huge severed head and place it on the table with a heavy thud. The charred head instantly fills the room with a distinctive smell, most reminiscent of an, an infernal dental procedure. Giles plugs his nose and approaches the skull. What the? He cautiously touches it a few times, then steps back. What did this head belong to? It's huge. The head belonged to a giant creature colloquially known as the Beast. It terrorized Foundry until I put a stop to it by giving it a molten metal bath, which is pretty much the only known way to kill it. That is so hardcore. Congratulations on having the courage to face what I suppose must have been a terrifying creature. I can only imagine that, that encounter. It's about mounting it on your wall. First off, we're going to have to make a custom mount for it, and due to its size and weight, he picks up the head and then puts it up down almost immediately. Whoa, it's heavy. Due to its size and weight, and the not so good condition it's in, it's going to be difficult work. I presume you also want, to touch, you want it touched up a bit and all that. Now just tell me the price already. 300 Sharons. But when it finally gets done, it's going to dominate. Alright, we'll get it done. 300 Stygian coins. Alright. So I have a couple of areas I want to explore and clean up before we head towards the Expedition DLC. First, I'm going to go, I'm going to, go to the Faceless Cave, see if the, uh, the Faceless are still there. I'm going to assume that they are, because it doesn't seem like the Faceless leave where they're at until I, the player character, goes and tells them the cube isn't there. Uh, that was basically what happened at Foundry. Yeah, well, I guess it doesn't have to be about the cube. Basically, I made the faceless leave each region, and I haven't made them leave Core City yet. I was the one. I was the reason why they left Foundry, and I was the reason why they left um, the other place, uh, Rail Crossing. All 
I thought about making a better taser, but the damage doesn't go up. At least in my case, it didn't go up. I'm gonna quick save. So again, I don't want to fight the faceless. So if they're here, I'm just gonna leave again. Oh, they're still here, so. I wonder if there's a way to get them to leave. Because I'd like to explore the cave. So that means that they're probably still down there outside of Core City, uh, where the Praetorian security are fighting them. But I will check just to be safe. Because the these two areas, the cave that we were just in, and then uh, where Praetorian security are holding them back, they might be uh, tied to different events. And then I also want to check out the, I think the Hecate, or he, Hecate, Hesate. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce it. I'm gonna say Hecate. Uh, the research facility to the west or to the east. Sorry, where those coil spiders are at. Now that I know that the coil spiders aren't actually that bad. All right, these guys are still around. Good to know. All right, so what's the best way to get to this? Probably to get to Foundry. Then once that's explored, uh, we'll be ready to go to the Expedition DLC. Faster to go, yeah. Go east and then just north until we get there. So I'm curious about going north here. It's blocked off by the faceless currently. I could fight my way through. Well, maybe I couldn't. Oh, the faceless are pretty, pretty tough. Curious what lies ahead there. So that leads down to the caves. Now the downside of this is. That's right, he does the EMP thing. That's right. That might actually be better. Let's, um... Because now I won't charge them up when I attack them. Then all I do is throw a grenade. I think I just want to close the door and heal up. Just wait it out. They can't open doors. All right, there we go. Oh no, maybe not. All right, can I go up this elevator or this ladder? There we go. All right, I'm not gonna bother charging up my stuff. I'm just going to heal up. I'm really upset about that though. I just, all my stuff is fully charged from me crafting it. 
How disappointing. Oh, there's a door over here. I did not see that. Boxing gloves. I'll grab them. They seem rare. Take the gas mask. It's always useful. Crawler. Death Stalker. All right. Shoot. I don't have my taser's not charged. Let's get out of here real quick. Try to exit combat. Ugh, I hate this. Just let me exit combat. He's not gonna get me out here. There we go. What's up, buddy? Close that just so we can't get back out. <laughs> All right, perfect. Now you die. Is that not it? Is there more than one of these suckers in here? Yes, there is. There he is. Eventually he's going to stay there and attack me. <laughs> Alright, let me kill him, and then we should be free to loot. Right, he's not dead, but... That's okay. Perfect. Sure. Okay. Let's get in and take care of those uh, coral spiders. Oh, there's another door here. Holy crap. I really need to pay more attention. I mean, it's okay material, or okay quality. I can't believe I missed all this stuff the first time I was here. Very disappointed with myself. Okay, I'm just gonna hit you with one of these. I wish I would have found all this 
dealt with all this while I still had all my charge and all my stuff, because then I could have burned through some of it without having to go to waste. I have that gas mask. I just walk around it. Oh no. Okay. Skeleton over here. What all did I pick up? Oh, that's not going to tell me. So I thought I picked up a an oddity. Maybe not. Maybe it was just this stuff. I don't really care about that. Okay. Let's re equip that. And. Let's find that door. That's not connected to this stuff, so. No power. Oh, do I have to wait for the uh, power to come back on? I'll just keep clicking then. It just keeps flickering on and off. But I might have to go down below. Turn on the power where all those coal spiders are at. Okay, let's do that. I'm gonna... Actually, let's eat something. How about that? Make us a little stronger. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll just eat, um, increase my strength, why not? Alright, quick save, and then down we go. That's gonna top off her health. No reason not to, I'm just gonna take a health hypo. Quick save, wait for the health hypo to come off cooldown for combat, and then, uh, in we go. There they are. Okay. I'm still gonna attack this guy. That hasn't changed. Right, not a huge fan of what's going on right now. <laughs> Gonna take one of those. Can I hit? What's my chance of hitting you? 97% chance, pretty solid. Let's uh, take care of that guy, and then all I have to worry about is the greater coil spider. My chance of hitting you. I have to move in order to do it, so it doesn't matter. They're really not digging this, okay. I get it, you do a lot of damage. You do not have to keep mounting it. Alright, he does not have to get closer, that's awful, okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Son of a gun. Whoops. <laughs> 
Oh man, this is gonna be a rough episode. I feel it in my bones. damage that would do. Not enough. That's why you're on the corner, forcing to me. Don't know where that guy's going. Just wandered off. Oh, you see me right there? Oh, I need to move back another one then. Again, it's all about forcing them to me. Can't quite reach him to attack him, so. I'm out of combat. Oh no! I'm oh, not. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I think we're gonna die here again. Yeah, we're getting picked apart. I don't think there's anything I can do. Yeah, I'm curious, does an EMP grenade affect these guys at all? Would it consider. No. I thought maybe I could damage them with the EMP grenade or something. And I think I'm dead here. No, not yet. This might work out in my favor. Okay. Oh no, I still need one more turn. Shoot. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm dead. Could run backwards. I can try killing him with this. Then I think I have to kill this guy, or else I'm uh, out of luck. Oh my god, it worked! Alright, can't move. Can't risk moving. Just hold still and uh... Gather ourselves. Oh yeah, I should probably quick save before I do anything else. There we go. That's how I threw it over there. But I want to risk going over there in case there's a trap. I think we'll be okay though. So I'm still not going to bother recharging any of my stuff in case we run across more of the uh, the big coil spiders. Again, it's not going to be anything new these guys drop, I don't think. So. I think I keep cutting off the last tick of the bandage when I do that.
Oh, son of a gun. Am I stuck on the thing? No, I don't think I am. I am. Shoot. Alright. Well, I need to save more often. I think that's a given, though. I know that the trap is right here, so if I stick to the wall, I might be okay. Let's quick save before I do anything. Awesome. Okay. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I didn't realize what I was standing on. I was just trying to look around and get my bearings. Right, so I think everything's dead in here now. Because this all connects around, so... Yeah. yeah, I think next time I play... Next time I play through this game, I'm going to bring something... I'm gonna have some perception, gosh darn it. Power Fist, a high tech combat glove equipped with both electroshock emitters and a pneumatic hammer. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, man. Only back here. Alright. What? How did I... Oh, the auto padding was probably going to take me a stupid direction. Gosh darn it. Alright, I'm going to just spam quick save through here. So I'm not making very smart moves. I just have to fly through here. Oh no! Oh no! Am I gonna survive? Nope! <laughs> Alright, so we have to go... I guess here would be safe. And this should loop around to this side. A oh, power generator. Perfect. What? I wasn't touching the, uh... I wasn't standing on... Alright. Game. I think he's just trying to cheese me now. Yeah, because I was trapped right here. That shouldn't have killed me when that turned on. Alright, now I don't gotta worry about it. Well. <laughs> oh man. I think this place is a little slice of hell. Uh, Dante forgot to mention. Hey, Kate, research. Is it the hey, Kate? Yeah, Kate Research Laboratory, our facility, and his uh, divine comedy. Uh, let me go back down and make sure I didn't miss any doors, because I'm... Man, I glossed over all these darn doors. I do want to go try this out real quick, though, since I'm up here. So I'm not sure... Might be associated with the quest later on, maybe just can't...
do anything with that. Or maybe power has to be applied. So look around, make sure there's no doors or exits that I missed. I don't see anything. Okay. So I wonder if I need to go apply that again for the door upstairs. I feel like a quest is going to take us here. Let me just run over there and... Okay. Actually, while I'm here, I'll just go ahead and... Uh, recharge everything. Alright, this takes 100. I'm just going to use a fusion cell. Yeah, screw it. Go all the way. I don't mean to use a second, but uh, whatever. I can buy a whole bunch of batteries if I need to. I'm assuming you just turn it off to make it easier to traverse. Now let's check the door upstairs one more time. Up, up ladder, whatever, whatever it is. Oh, here we go. Cool. Oh, shock bullets. If anybody's interested, Hecate Research Outpost mainframe. Warning: Last database backup performed seven years, six months, seventy-five days ago. Open project database. Project database. Origin of the Alpha Effect, Jace Samuelson and S.K. Mitchell. Error 23, database damaged. Unable to retrieve specified information. A supramolecular catal catalysis? Catalysis? A design perspective, El Baca. Same error. Uh, Core City Aquatic Chemistry, Equilibria and Current Rates. P. Han. Uh, De novo protein design, U Hike and T. Robinson. Alright, from what you can see by reading the abstract section, this paper goes into great detail on designing completely new protein sequences from scratch and chronicles research on the subject within Hecate Research Outpost. In addition, the authors explain how they were able to create a significant number of new sequences as well as their various useful applications. Oh yeah, download to memory stick, why not? Download successful. Uh, I said battery cells revival. B. Bjornsson. And can't retrieve it. Okay. Why would I be able to download the, uh, the information? Hmm. About proteins, I think. Oh no. Alright, well, I think I'm going to call the episode here. Uh, in the next one, we'll head back to Core City. Well, I'll head back to Core City off-camera, and then we will uh, start the expedition to DLC. Huzzah! Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next episode.